Here we go. Hi, uh, welcome. Today we're gonna show you how to do some musical instruments, uh, percussive instruments, and called like shakers. You might have heard them sometimes in music. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to make them with stuff you can find at home easily. Uh, we can use, for instance, a tin can uh, from a tomato sauce and take out the paper. And we can fill it with pasta. Uh, the pasta is quite big, so we can try to break it. And to break it, you just need a, like a tissue to put on the top and then like a small plate and you just need a slight pressure to break it. quite small pieces doesn't matter if they don't broke if not all of them broke hey. so a bit of push see See now it's a bit. I think fusilli works better for this. But also maybe penne or farfalle. Right. Okay, then like I put the pasta on a piece of paper so now it's easy to just grab the piece of paper, do this, and then pour it into the can. Uh, you can choose how much pasta or whatever put inside. I tend to put less than a half so it has enough room to move up and down and make the shaky sound. Uh, then we need to make a lid for it because the original one came out and also be careful because tin can might be quite sharp in here so ask for uh, models to help you. Um, to make the leads, you're going to need like a, cir a circle to make the print. Uh, to use this is not enough because it has to be slightly bigger than this. So we might use uh, tape and uh, put it over the top of a piece of paper, draw a sign around it. sign around it and um, cut it through. This now it goes over the top and to allow the the edges to go down you better make some cuts around the borders like this, like the beginning of rays Have a little look like this like just a bit all over the and then you can, it's easy to make to do this Use some tape Right, now it's pretty much closed. You want to use a slightly uh, thick piece of cardboard because you, you don't want to break it while shaking it. And uh, it sounds like this. Uh, we're going to see how to decorate it now a bit if you want. Uh, we're going to use 
another piece of paper, maybe a different color from the, from the lead. And to see how long that's going to be, you can wrap it over the pin and uh, make a sign where the two sides meet, slightly bigger, and then also where the pin can and hold pretty much. And then like if I have these two signs I can yeah, it's from here and then this way too. This on the tape. You can use your so scissors to cut the tape. You don't have to use teeth. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Some tape like I did to close the wrapping. And maybe some other tape on the bottom. Mm. Okay, so it doesn't move when you take it. Um, now you've covered it in paper, could you draw on it? Yeah, you can You can draw on it if you want. Or like I did in this one, which I filled with, instead of pasta, I filled it with chickpea, chickpeas. And uh, this sounds like this, with pasta, and this sounds like this. So, same material, they made made of tin. And, but they have different grains inside, so they sound different. And with this one, like I just cut some random shapes and I stick them to the surface of the paper with some glue. Some triangles, some circles, some lines. And uh, you can also use other... Uh, uh, let's see, uh, containers? Containers, yeah. You can use different ones made of different materials, like for instance these takeaway disposable cardboard cup for coffee, uh, where you can draw, for instance, animals, like I did. And you can fill it now with something smaller than chickpeas, maybe with some chana dal grains, uh, like I did with a piece of paper, fold it a bit. Doesn't go all over the place. You can just close it with the lid if you have it, or did the same like we did for this and cut the lid again. Funniest one, I think, it's the empty ketchup bottle because it becomes very handy. I'll show you how. Um, you can put rice, for instance, in this one, which is the, the smaller grain we have here. And you're gonna hear the difference between the smaller grain and then the bigger one. Okay. Save the lid of the ketchup bottle once you wash it and then close it. You can make like something like this with a lot of cuts here. This. So it also has a handle and it's a maracas. This is perfect. 
And so pasta sounds like this. Chickpeas. They're actually thicker than pasta, so I put them the lower register. Uh, chana dal. And rice. You can use both and make some rhythm. And uh, yeah, that's how you make shakers if you want to try and send us the pictures or videos of you playing them and we are looking forward to see some